Okay, on this video we're going to talk about merging. Now, we've done photo merge in a previous video, but I'm going to be showing you how you can do it manually on this one. And to start it all off, let's give you an example of why you would want to merge. Ever took a photograph and some idiots walked in front of your shot? Um, and so as a result you don't get a very good image um, for example the background looks fantastic but the foreground's rubbish because this idiot's walked in front of you well what we can do is with photo merge is try and get the best out of two images so what I've got here is um, what I've called action I would say it's not my best um, piece of Photoshop work but it is just purely for this example as you can see I've got two dolphins in the air and they look like they're gonna collide with the um, person in the water however that wasn't actually strictly the case. What really did happen was these were two completely separate parts of the um, show. So I have my dolphins on this one and I have my um, swimmer on the other one. Um, so how did I put it all together? Well, um, stay tuned and we'll find out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get both of these images into the same area. So what we're going to do is we're just going to in effect insert um, the images as two separate layers on the same file. Now the quickest way to do this is in here we have the two separate images. I'm going to uh, make sure I've got the pointer tool selected um, the move tool and just literally hold down the mouse button on the image and drag and drop it onto the other one but keep your mouse held down what you need to do now is move your mouse into the document but then just hold down the shift key and then let go now the importance of the shift key is it should snap the image to the same proportion sizes as the other one because they were taken from the same camera the resolution and the pixel widths and heights were obviously the same now as a result of me doing that you'll notice now on the right hand side I have now two um, layers if you will um, now if one of them reads background just right click on it and change it um, down here you'll have an option um, to convert to um, a individual layer it's very important you do that first because we're going to need to work on both the background and the foreground for this now to merge them together all we have to do is with the shift key click on both layers to have them selected and then as long as you've got the move tool selected the button is in front of your very eyes but you may not have noticed it you'll see at the very end of the toolbar there's these two little faces and if you hover over it it should say auto align layers now what will happen in this case if I click on it, it brings up a dialog box asking me how do I want to do it now most of the time, 90% of the time, auto will do all of the work for you. However, you do have other options like perspective and collage. Now, for example, perspective, you happen to position the camera a little bit lower, a little bit higher, so therefore the image needs to be twisted slightly to make sure it fits properly. Um, collage is just means that you took photograph of the same vista, but perhaps at different, um, different positions, i.e. 10 meters away from each other. Um, so collage will actually help with that. Cylindricals, and reposition um, they all sort of speak for themselves now what we're going to do in this one is use auto I'm just going to click on OK and give it a second and away it whirls and as a result there you go we've now got both images simultaneously on the screen but as you can see a lack of dolphins also the other problems are you can see that the exposure is different by the lines appearing down the side here so we've got to do a little bit of tidying up so what do we do next well first of all we've got it aligned perfectly fantastic what we need to do is now deselect the um, layer selection because we need to just work on one or two areas now in this case let's just turn things on and off so the top layer is um, my swimmer and the bottom layer is the dolphins now what I need to do is I need to bleed through and the dolphins now this is done by putting layer masks on so making sure you've got the top layer selected just down at the bottom here make sure you select um, insert um, layer mask now what will happen is your color palette will go to black and white this um, has been explained in previous videos have a look at undestructive edits if you're not um, familiar with this concept and all we're going to do now is with the brush just change it to quite a big size and then start drawing on and as if by magic look what's appearing are dolphins now I'm not too bothered at this stage how it all looks I just want to in effect just fill in over here so it all sort of tidies up so the wake of the water 
um, fills in and so on um, and oops gone too far what I've done is I've gone past the boundaries of that first image and started eating into the other one so no problem you just press X on your keyboard or this little icon here which will switch the um, colors around so it goes to white now with the mouse just drag back over and you'll refill in the image now what you have to do is you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time probably by zooming in until you get to this sort of level and then very carefully drag and as you can see one of the problems I had is because the dolphins were moving the image is slightly blurred but that's no problem for me because all I'm going to do is just drag upwards and as you can see look they're all coming back to life again they're no longer fuzzy little blobs so you keep going around and keep playing with it until you've got it in a better um, position so what you'll end up doing and this is the painstaking bit is probably zooming your brush down zooming in and then very very carefully with the mouse button drag to bring back in the detail and so I won't bore you with the rest of this um, video with putting the detail in um, but one of the key concerns you will have when you're putting in multiple images like this is generally exposure for example you've got lines intersecting here so there are certain things you can do and what I would recommend is you would use um, again from previous videos the heel brush for this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert another layer and making sure that layer is selected I'm going to turn on the heel brush make sure you choose the heel brush not the spot heel heel is very important here so with that done I'm just gonna hold down the alt key click on a particular area where I think the colors match so in this case here and then with the mouse I'm just gonna drag downwards and all being well when I let go it should tidy the image so now it all fits properly and again what you'll find is when you go into these particular areas the exposure is going to be a problem because you're overlaying on top of both of them so no problem what you can do is with the heel brush again choose an area of color which you know is um, right so in this case I'm going to choose this light area I'm going to make the brush a bit smaller and again what you may want to do is in here change the hardness so it's a lot softer so it doesn't actually stick out as badly um, and it will blend in with the surroundings a bit better so with a little bit of jiggery and pokery you can get it to the point where you're actually seeing both images at the same time on the screen so what's the next step well after you've done that obviously because it has done this transformation for us you will see that we've got a bit of a gap here and a bit of a gap here well again this is where you use your clone tools and just very carefully on this new layer that you've created put that information in so I'll just very quickly for the benefits of the time of this video just drag over like so and again because I've got the softness um, well the hardness turned down let's just make that a bit stronger and try again and that should overwrite it but again you'll have little problems that you'll need to fix like the um, color but not to worry just keep persevering with it and then you should end up with something like this so what I've got here is um, if I just turn it down to its base components there's our person on its own with no layer mask but when I turn on the next layer I have the dolphins but as you can see if you look on my screen here um, let me put it back to pointer can you see that I've really gaffed around with it because I wasn't too concerned because I was going to put another layer on top which was to fill in the gaps as a result we get that finished article I'm not entirely proud of the area at the top right with, with a little bit more time we could actually tidy it up but as a result you now have a fully fledged image now before you switch off this video I'll just point out that these particular samples if you wanted to try and recreate what I've done um, are available on the PC teach me website um, so that's HTTP PC teach dot me um, you'll have to register but inside there you will be able to find on this um, specific post the example um, PSD file for you to play around with so thanks for watching and I hope you get good results